We managed to prove that in Jordan, the CO2 system has been more energy efficient than other conventional systems, besides being environment friendly. The first transcritical CO2 store in the Middle East was installed at the Al Salam military supermarket by Abdin Industrial with support from UNIDO, the Climate and Clean Air Coalition, and the Ministry of the Environment in Jordan. It all started with the UNIDO campaign in our part of the world to spread the knowledge about the environment-friendly refrigerants, specifically the CO2 parties together. They cooperated and agreed that the first pioneer project in the region would take place in Jordan. Enix, who provided the CO2 rack system, believed this technology would be challenging to use in Jordan. In the beginning, we were skeptical about the feasibility. With a company, we never did CO2, nothing, even cascade. But then uh, we had to uh, rethink our ideas. When uh, we started this project, we have seen a very cooperative partner. They learned very quickly the CO2 systems. Latest CO2 transcritical technology like ejectors and parallel compression were used with Al Salam to allow the supermarket to operate efficiently in warm ambient climate. We designed a special system uh, for uh, CO2, including all the best technologies available for Europe. The project was prepared very well. Also, the owner, the military people, were very cooperative and uh, we had no one uh, failure. And recently I heard about the results. They are extremely satisfied about the energy saving compared to the previous plant. So I think it was a positive experience. The system was commissioned in winter and it has been running smoothly throughout the summer without any major issues. The maximum ambient temperature the CO2 system was operational at around 35-36 degrees C. Amdin have been watching the performance of their CO2 system in Jordan versus a similar HFC system that they also installed at a supermarket close by. In fact, we chose a similar project where we had installed a modern refrigeration system that is considered to be energy efficient. We installed energy meters in both projects. We found that the CO2 system had saved more energy than the other system by 20 to 30 percent, depending on the ambient temperature. The Al Salam supermarket had used a HCFC R22 based system which can deplete the ozone layer and contribute to global warming. We arranged with the store manager to close a small section at a time so the store would not face major shutdowns. The project in total took just less than three weeks. I think the experience with Jordan can say that it is possible to do in uh, several other countries with uh, innovative solutions like this. After installing the first CO2 project uh, in Jordan, we as our team uh, feel uh, that we have you know, the responsibility and duty to inform other projects about the benefits of uh, CO2 systems. I also think our government can do something to help in this regard. For example, uh, maybe by rewarding projects that managed to reduce their energy bills. Over 20,000 CO2 transcritical supermarkets have been installed throughout the world, including in Article 5 countries like Mexico, Brazil, Russia, China, and Indonesia. 